Maria Fedorovna, Empress of Russia, was born Princess Dagmar of schleswig holstein sonderburg glucksburg on the 26th of November, 1847, at the Yellow Palace. She was the second daughter of King Christian IX of Denmark and Louise of Hesse Castle. From 1852, she was known as Princess Dagmar of Denmark. Dagmar grew up in a happy family environment. Her parents placed great emphasis on giving their children a simple upbringing, but also placed great emphasis on their royal duties. Dagmar was closest to her sister Alexandra, and they remained close throughout their adult lives. In 1864, Sarevich Nicholas Alexandrovich proposed to Dagmar, which she accepted. However, he suffered from ill health and passed away from meningitis on the 24th of April, 1865. His last wish was for Dagmar to marry his brother Alexander. Dagmar had already started to learn the Russian language and was preparing for her conversion to the Russian Orthodox religion. In June 1866, Alexander proposed Dagmar and they were wed on the 9th of November 1866, after Dagmar converted to the Orthodox faith. Dagmar took the name Maria Fedorovna. They moved into Anichkov Palace, where they would live for the next 15 years. They had six children together, Nicholas, Alexander, George, Xenia, Michael and Olga. Maria was popular in Russian society. She did not dabble in politics much and devoted herself to her family, charities and social activities. On the 13th of March 1881, Alexander's father, Alexander II, was assassinated in St. Petersburg. Alexander succeeded to the Russian throne and the imperial royal family moved to Gachina Palace, which provided greater protection. Alexander and Maria's coronation was also held in strict security. Maria and Alexander were extremely conservative, and Maria sought to encourage foreign policy that favoured Denmark and not Germany. Maria was anti-German because of the annexation of the previously Danish Schleswig-Holstein duchies to Prussia in 1864. In addition, she tried to get Russia to develop relations with the United Kingdom, where her sister was currently the Princess of Wales. Alexander and Maria often visited Denmark and enjoyed their time there because the atmosphere was more relaxed and they were under less stringent security. In 1885, Alexander bought a house near Friedensborg Palace and it became known as the Emperor's Villa. Maria owned the house until her death in 1928, when her daughter Olga sold the house. On the 1st of November 1894, Alexander died from nephritis. Their son Nicholas became the last emperor of Russia and married Princess Alex of Hesse on Maria's birthday, just eight days after Alexander was buried. Maria often offered advice to her son during the early days of his reign. Maria did not get along with her new daughter-in-law, Alex, or as she was known then, Alexandra Fedorovna. Maria was still considered Russia's first lady, and this strained the relationship between the old empress and the new empress. Maria was also more popular than Alexandra and enjoyed her role as first lady. As time went on, Maria's political views changed. She saw the discontent and revolutionary events that occurred in Russia and thought there should be a democratic representative government. However, Nicholas retained his absolute power and soon Maria stopped being his political advisor, replaced with his wife. When the Russian Revolution broke out during the First World War in 1917, Maria was in Kyiv. After Nicholas abdicated, she saw him one last time and after some reflection, she went to Crimea where members of the imperial family had several summer homes. Here she witnessed the October Revolution and in 1918 she received the news that her son and his family had been murdered. 
Being in Crimea became precarious. Nephew George V sent the warship HMS Marlborough to her. Twenty-five other Romanovs accompanied her over to England. After a short stay in London, Maria moved to Denmark, where she stayed in Amalienborg Palace for a time. She eventually settled in a holiday villa she and Alexandra had bought together in 1906. Maria's remaining years were overshadowed by the many deaths of her immediate family. Maria held out hope that her sons Nicholas and Michael, her daughter-in-law and grandchildren had survived the revolution. On the 13th of October 1928, Maria passed away and was interred at Roskilde Cathedral. She had wished that she would be buried beside her husband. In 2005, Queen Margaretha II of Denmark and the Russian President Vladimir Putin agreed, along with their governments, that Maria's wish should be fulfilled. Her remains were transported to St. Petersburg and interred next to her husband on the 28th of September 2006.